Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass Algebra 2 Trig. In this video we're going to go over how to graph trigonometric functions by deriving the coordinate points and graphing y equals sine of x, y equals cosine of x, and y equals tan of x. So we're going to derive the coordinate points for each graph by using the unit circle that you see here. So for anyone who needs a review of the unit circle, I'm going to leave a link in the description. I have a video on that if you need to review that, so if you want to check that out. So the first function we're going to graph is y equals sine of x. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to find, find the value of each sine function given the different degree values based on the unit circle. And then these are going to be our coordinates. So if you remember the unit circle, cosine of theta comma sine of theta is really like x comma y. So if we look at sine of zero degrees, if we look at zero degrees, we want to look at the y value. So if we go to zero degrees, we look at the y value, it's zero. So we know that sine of zero degrees is zero. Now if we look at sine of 90, so we're going to go up here, sine of 90 degrees, just look at the y value there, and we know that this is going to be equal to 1. So we're just going to do this all the way around, sine of 180, y value is 0, so we know that's our answer, sine of 270, this is minus 1, sine of 316, we made it all the way around, and we're back at 0 again. And then now we're going to do the negative degree values, which, if you remember, go this way. So this is minus 90 degrees, and this is minus 180, minus 270, and minus 360. So now if we go to minus 90, which is down here, we just look at that y coordinate, and this is minus 1. Minus 180, we have 0, minus 270, 1, and then minus 360 is 0. So now let's just write out our coordinates. So we have 0 comma 0, we have 90 degrees comma 1. So th just like pairing these together and these are our coordinates. So before we could just start plotting our points, we need to convert all our degrees, so here are our degrees, we need to convert them all to radians. So to do that we just follow this simple formula. We take the degree value and then multiply it times pi over 180. So for example, if we wanted to convert 90 degrees to radians, we would just do 90 degrees times pi over 180, which would just give us 90 pi over 180 or pi over 2. So, so let's start converting these to radians. So we have, so zero, zero actually remains the same. The only, it's the only one. And we just did 90 degrees. This becomes pi over two comma one. So I'm not gonna convert them all for you, but I will show them down below on the screen. So 180 is just pi comma zero. This is three pi over two comma negative one. pi 0 and now we have the same things just then uh, negative version so minus pi over 2 comma negative 1 minus pi comma 0 this becomes minus 3 pi over 2 comma 1 and then our last coordinate we have minus 2 pi comma 0 so now we can actually plot our points and graph this so Let's take out our graphing paper and let's just leave our coordinates to the side so we can see them and graph them. Let's graph, these are all our x values, all the radians are our x values, and these are our y values. So let's graph our x values along here. We have pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. And now just the same thing on the other side, but negative, so minus pi over 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi over 2, minus 2 pi. So now we could start graphing this, looking at our coordinates. So our first one we have 0, 0. Our next we have pi over 2, comma 1, which is up here. Then we have pi 0, so back down on the x-axis. And then we have 3 pi over 2, comma negative 1, and then 2 pi 0. So let's just start connecting our points here. And notice it forms this S shape. 
which is easy to remember because S, you know, it forms an S, and S is for sine. And now let's start graphing these negative values. From, from here down, we have minus pi over 2, negative 1, minus pi 0, minus 3 pi over 2, comma 1, and then minus 2 pi 0. And let's connect our dots on this side as well. And notice it, it also still has that S shape. So let's just label our graph. And that is our y equals sine of x function. So check out the graph here, just a close up of all the radians and our y equals sine of x function, just in case you missed anything. And when you're ready, let's start graphing y equals cosine of x in a very similar way. So we're going to start by drawing out and finding all those degree values. So we're going to find cosine of zero. So, so before we were looking at the y values for sine, but this time we're going to be looking at our unit circle for the x values. So if we look at cosine of zero, we look at the x value there is one. So we know this is one. Now cosine of 90, if we go 90, we see the x value is zero. So cosine of 90 is zero. So we're just going to be traveling around this unit circle here. So next we have cosine of 180, which is minus one. Cosine of 270 down here, which is zero. Always looking for those x values with cosine. Back at 360, so we made our way all the way around, and this is also one. So now, just a reminder of which the way the negative degrees go, they travel this way. So this is minus 90, minus 180, minus 270, minus 360 degrees over here. So we go to minus 90, look for that x value and get zero. Then we have cosine of minus 180, which is minus 1, cosine of minus 270 is 0, and then we're back at minus 360, which is 1 again. So another way to do this, I know we're doing it the long way, we're deriving it, but you can, you know, use your calculator if you want uh, to check yourself or if you don't want to use the unit circle. So if you go to mode and make sure you're de in degree mode, you can just plug these values in also. So you could do cosine of 0 is 1, cosine of 90 is zero, and you could just keep going. But this is to show you the real math behind it and where these numbers come from. So now let's convert everything into radian mode. So first let's write out our coordinates. So we have zero, one. So remember we, we combine the degree value and the value of our function into x comma y. So it's, this forms a little coordinate. So now let's convert these two radians. So remember we need to, these, the x values are degrees and we're converting them to radians and the y values remain the same. So let's write those out. So zero remains the same. 90 becomes pi over two. Minus, so now we're going the other way, minus 90, so just those negative numbers. Okay, so now, so these are our coordinates that we're going to be graphing for our function, y equals cosine of x. So let's get out our graphing paper and make sure we can see our coordinates, and now let's just mark down our x values all these radian measures onto our graph. So now we can actually graph. So let's look at our coordinates. 0, 1 is up here. Pi over 2, comma 0 is over here. Pi, negative 1. Then we have 3 pi over 2 is 0. And then we have 2 pi is 1. So it's up here. So let's just connect these dots and see what our graph is going to look like. So notice it forms this V shape. So the V shape is for cosine. So less memorable, but S is for sine and V is cosine, it's the other one. So now let's start graphing the negative side of this X axis. So we have minus pi over two, zero. We have minus pi, one, minus one. 
minus 3 pi over 2, 0. And then we have minus 2 pi comma 1, which is up here. And let's just connect these dots and label our graph y equals cosine of x. And that is our cosine graph. So here is the graph of y equals cosine of x in case you missed anything. We have all our radian measures and just, just in case that something, anything was hard. And for those of you ready to move on, let's look at our last trig graph. We're going to graph tan of x. So this is a little different when it's arriving because this time we're going to need this identity here where we know that tan of theta is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta. So, so we're going to be finding the same degree. So the same idea. So we have tan of zero. We want to find that tan of 90. With cosine, we just found x, or the sine, we just found the y. But now we need to look at both of these. So if we, if we know that cosine is x and sine is y, we're really going to be finding, in relation to the coordinate points, tan of theta will really be like finding, will be like finding y over x. So when we look at these coordinate points, we're going to think y over x. So if you look at tan of zero degrees, y over x would just be 0 over 1, which would be 0, because this is x comma y, right? So y is 0 and x is 1. So that's just what, that's all we're doing with tan when deriving how to graph tan, y equals tan of x. So now next we have 1 over 0, which is undefined. So if we look at tan of 90 degrees, we have y is 1 and 0 is x, and we're doing y over x, right? So 1 divided by 0 is just undefined. Next is 180. You get 0 over negative 1, which is 0. 270, we have negative 1 divided by 0, which is undefined. And now we're back at 360 over here, which is going to be 0 over 1, which is 0. So now we're going to be going this other way, because this is minus 90 degrees, minus 180, minus 270, and then minus 360 over here. So minus 90, we get negative 1 over 0, which is undefined. And we'll see how these undefines look on the graph. The, they form something called asymptotes, so, which we'll get into later. So 10 of one, minus 180. We just do 0 over minus 1, which is 0. 270 is 1 over 0, which is undefined. And our last coordinate point is minus 360, which is 0 over 1, which is 0. So now we can actually graph our tan function. So we're just going to line up all of our x coordinates in radian mode. So here we have pi over 2, which is 90 pi, which is 180, 3 pi over 2, which is 270, and then 2 pi, which is 360, and now just the negative uh, equivalent on the other side. So minus pi over 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi over 2, and minus 2 pi. So now we can just look at our coordinates over here that we found earlier, and mark them up on our graph. So 0, 0 is just here. And now this is 90 degrees, which is pi over 2 is undefined. So to show that, we're just going to draw these vertical dotted lines, which are called asymptotes. Basically, these are vertical lines. I mean, that um, nothing can ever, no coordinate point on the graph can ever actually come here. So we have, so we mark this region with an asymptote, a vertical dotted line, to show that. Uh, next we have 180 degrees at 0, and then 270 is also undefined, so we're going to make another asymptote there, and just mark it down here, x equals 3 pi over 2. And then at 2 pi, 360 degrees, we also have a 0. So on the other side, we have minus 90 degrees is undefined as well. So we draw another asymptote, x equals negative pi over 2. Minus 180 degrees is 0. Minus 3 pi over 2 
that yeah that's a little hard to read but that's what this says minus 3 pi over 2 is undefined again so we'll mark that with another asymptote x equals minus 3 pi over 2 and the last we have minus 2 pi we have a 0 so now we're just going to kind of draw our lines Gonna, they end up being kind of these squiggly lines that up, keep approaching these asymptotes but never actually touch them because the graph is undefined at this point and we found that they were why they were undefined because we're dividing by zero at those points so that's why we get this funky looking graph but the rest of it is just kind of drawing in these squiggles and then on the end here we end up drawing down and this will be going up and of course, just labeling that graph y equals tan of x. So here's a close-up of the graph in case anything was hard to see. We have the derived coordinates on the left and the graph of y equals tan of x with each radian on the right. And notice where our coordinates were undefined, we see those asymptotes, those vertical dotted lines where the graph is undefined and we can never have any values here. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below. And if this video helped you at all, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!